women like have feelings for for small issues you know I, so we, we call them babies like a woman would fall in love with you just by the way you walk just by the way you talk oh shit <laughs> no way <laughs> nah nope no charlie we ain't trolling y'all don't sweat it hey guys what's up it's your boy sean 81 jacks and we're back again with another episode of new trolling so welcome back if you're new welcome thank you for the support and the love you guys are showing us so, so yeah another episode of no trolling don't sweat it uh so today we have an alpha male in the house y'all <laughs> emil welcome to the podcast bro thank you thank you very much it's yeah good. yeah yeah um so so we're gonna hit the usual no trolling questions mix it up with the red flags and green flags and, and today we're going to try out a new segment, um, it's called Let's Talk About It, it's a new segment. So we're going to try it out and see how it does. Um, uh, we are not professionals, we just wanna, wanna have a good time yeah, and exactly. wanna help you guys out, help each other out in fact, and getting different perspective of the same you know, story. Alright, so with that said, let's jump into it. Yeah, so Emma, what do you do? Um, tell us a little about yourself. Uh, well, in brief, yeah. Uh, my name is Emil, Emil Ernest Ezekiel. I, I'm generally just a simple guy. Simple you know? guy? At least I like to think like that, I'm a simple guy. Yeah. Um, usually, I, I do just what other people do, but you know, I don't know how should I put this. Um, I am in university. Yeah. My third year. I'm graduating next year. Hopefully, engineering. You're not engineering. Yeah, engineer. Yeah, yeah that's what's <laughs> up. Yeah. So it's you're not engineering. Yeah. I just came back. It's actually in Poland right now. I'm just here for the for the meantime. Yeah. And uh, part time, I also work uh, for a company. Also individually, you know, here and there. Uh, try to establish myself as a man. So. Yeah. That's generally what the picture is looking at. Bad. That's what's up. That's what's up. Um. So, who is your role model? <sighs> well, do you have? Person. Do you have a role model? Yeah, obviously. Um, for any person who has a vision and they have a goal, or maybe like they're absolutely determined to do something yeah. for themselves, yeah. you need to have someone that you look up to. Yeah. And uh, I really do. Uh, my first, ro- my first role model being my dad, because um, he actually taught a lot. Yeah, actually, a lot of people. Uh, Role models uh, turns out to be their dad. Yeah, because you know that's the first man you look up to when you're growing up. Yeah, you know? like exactly. I know, I know there is this thing about you know when boys grow up with the big mama's boy, and then yeah. by, but you know there's a certain age, there's a certain time that you start looking up to your dad, your dad, and that's when you start you know learning and growing with him, and he's sharing the experiences, his experiences, trying to you know put you in the right path. So yeah, I can say the first one is my dad, and then there are others like Miles Monroe. Like depends on what faculty. Like I have like almost one in everyone in, in any faculty. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's so, so. so yeah. Mm, all right. So let's dive into the no trolling questions. Um. So, who usually gets bored first in a relationship between a man or a woman? No trolling. Don't sweat it. Yeah. Wow, we're starting off in the hardcore. Ah, come on. <laughs> this is not. You wait to see the hard question. Well, um. From my experiences and uh, from what I've, you know, learned from observing people, usually it's, you know, depends, but mostly the, the man's first. Men? Yeah. Like, because, well, you know, men spend a lot of energy in trying to pursue the women, right? Yeah. They do a lot, like buying flowers, going out on dates, yeah, whatever. Yeah. And, uh, you know, sometimes you can get, you know, a positive reaction. Sometimes it's a negative energy, you yeah. know, it turns you down. So, you know, you invest a lot in trying to, you know, get her. And by the time you do, you're like, you know what, I've done a lot, so I'm going to chill. <laughs> you know? And just, you know, let me just get those things back. And, you know, the girls expect you that now that you have yeah, me, you need to do more, you know, more than what you did before. And they're like, gosh, I've done a lot. You didn't do shit. So, you know, so like they're the first ones to like tap out, I can say, in most ex- most experiences and stuff like that. So men you tap out first. Yeah, men tap out first. If they actually made a lot of effort, which we know that is the common issue. 
especially right here. So. Mm, well, <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, but yeah, that's why men always like we're known to be cheaters a lot. Exactly. Because yeah, yeah, I like, think we that's get bored, that. we get bored so quickly. Because <laughs> I mean, like, what what would you expect if you've spent a lot? And we're not saying that spending is is the it's issue bad, here. Right? No, like we we like to do that. We love to do that because you know we do. We do love to. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> we love to do that, you know. But yeah. at the same time, you have to think about it, like, because you know what men, you know. I usually tell a lot, of, a lot of my guys that men and, and women are kind of different, you know, in value. Like, women, like, have feelings for, for small issues. You know, I, so we, we call them babies. Like, a woman would fall in love with you just by the way you walk, just by the way you talk. Oh, shit. No way. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's true. It's true. You can, you can ask your female friends, like, and they'll be like, I just like the way he talks. I like the way he moves. Like, but a guy has a lot of things, you know, they have... You know, they have to look at everything from appearance, appearance and everything, personality, personality yeah. what do they have inside, like, you know. And so if they feel like, you know what, I'm not getting a lot from this, yeah. you know, you just and you're like there for one thing, you know, you get bored really fast if you're there for one thing. You know? Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. It's a nyash, <laughs> nyashiologist. All right. Um, so, yeah, the second question. How do you feel when a woman taller than you likes you? No trolling. Don't sweat it. Odd. <laughs> Odd. <laughs> Odd. That's the first word that came to mind. Odd. I mean, to be honest, I do appreciate tall women. You know. Yeah. I and I think I'm kind of you know in that direction because you know I'm not saying that I have anything bad against short short ladies. It's just that um, you know, you'd prefer someone around your height and stuff. I'm not saying someone. I never thought about someone taller than me. Obviously, it's going to be a little odd at first. But if you'd be you know, looking at her like, "Hey, baby," <laughs> <laughs> you're getting a lot and stuff. So, uh, <laughs> man, I don't know about you, but me tall women are just. Oh, it's a lot, man. It's a lot for me. There's uh, there's a time where I was so insecure about my height. I was like, I was like, nah, oh, man, I can't be this short, bro. I'm not. But I'm not short. I'm not. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a medium size. Average, but, but it was just tall women are just. Ah, man, just walking with a tall woman is just awkward. <laughs> Imagine walk. It looks like your big sister or something. Yeah, I know. I know. And it's, especially if you don't have a buff body, you don't have a beard, so <laughs> you look like a kid, bro, with a tall woman. That's why I'm like, I'm usually not comfortable. But I do have tall women as friends. And I have, you know, entanglements with all women, but... It's nice of you that you're being so honest and direct about entanglements. <laughs> nah, nah. I didn't, I didn't mean it to come out like that. All right. So, uh, all right. So, we're going to hit the green flag. Get ready. All right. All right. She has an attitude. Specifically, what type of attitude? Sassy. Attitude, sassy attitude, like she talks a lot. A, a lot? A lot. Alright. Alright. Red, red flag. I mean, attitudes, you know, sometimes an attitude can be also in a positive way. Like she could be defensive about you. Like yeah, she could defend why, you in public and stuff like that. That's why, that's why I like, I wanted to know first, like, what type of attitude. Because, like, I'm not saying that I don't appreciate talkative women, mm. you know? It's just that, you know, there's some moments where, you know, you have to just, you know, sit back and, you know, observe the room, Let read you. the room, like, just see... Remember everything. how Cardi B was defending Offset? Oh, yeah. Oh, with, like, like, police... He was, yeah. yeah, he got arrested. Yeah, that's... that's like, that's, that's, that's what's up. Like, that's, that's, actually, that's actually tough, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, that's yeah. an attitude, bro. Okay, that, that's good. Now, that's a good <laughs> yeah. flag. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, she's pretty... But she has a bad, bad dental formula, bro. Damn, bro. <laughs> she all good here? But uh -huh. when she smiles, she's like, oh, oh, God. See, here's the thing. I have a... Wait, wait. Thing. Is that the red flag, green flag? <sighs> Be direct. I, I'm going to answer this, but I, and I'll tell you why. All right. Okay. Okay. It's a red flag. Be only because... You know, sometimes, you know, smiles are like, to me, it's like the window to the heart, apart, apart from the Close eyes. Your way. So, like, a good smile can make your day, you know? 
much. A girl can may send you a snap, a picture of her smiling, and just lights you yeah, up. Yeah, facts, man. Yeah, so like a bad dental formula, bro, for, like. Ah, man. That's, that's really hard to beat. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. All right. All right, um, let's go on the red flag, then we'll get back to no trolling. Okay. She got more money than you. Honestly, yeah, same here. I, that's I don't, a green flag. That's, that's what's up. You have your own money? You have more money than me? Yes, that's what's up. I appreciate See, you. here's the thing. I'm a hardworking man. I'm a workaholic at some point. Some people have claimed. And I have no problem whatsoever in meeting women who are richer than me. First of all, it's motivating. Yeah. Because you, know? like, you have something for yourself, so I need to get there. You know, and as a man's source of pride, you need to provide. So for you to be providing, yeah, you have to be like extra yeah. step. Keep so it's it. more of a competitive motivation type of thing. So it's a green flag. Yeah, for sure, for sure. All right, your favorite ex just got off a two-year relationship. Two years relationship. What would you text her to test the waters? No trolling. Don't sweat it. Well, probably just you know start off with the small talks. Cause like what would you text her? The first thing you text her, what would you like? Hey, how you been? How you text her? Uh, that's just pretty cool. something that is like off, like nothing, nothing you unusual or like creepy. You you, you want to start small, right? You would be like maybe like hey, how you doing? How's it been? You know, it's been a minute, something like that, and then try to like move along with the lines of like how's everything been? How you doing? Like try to listen to her first. Make yeah, her, like, that's solid. You're, yeah. a, you're a genuine nice guy. You know what I'll do. <laughs> I'll yeah. go to Instagram story, yeah? Uh-huh. And I'm going to send 100. You know that 100, st- 100 emoji? Yeah, yeah I'm going I'm to put that in one of her stories. Like, uh-huh. And I'm going to back off. And see how it goes. Oh, man. Favorite exes. Dangerous dude. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, if you, you are dating a woman with mm-hmm. a fine body mm-hmm. and she gets fat over the years, would you still date her? No trolling. I mean, first of all, um, don't sweat it. That that's actually a sign that she's you know comfortable. She's around comfortable you. around you, so that's a good sign. So I I mean I wouldn't like gone off. I wouldn't like start like overreacting and stuff like that. Cause you know I've seen a lot of women becoming skinny as hell. Like from when they started now, like that ass is gone. So you're like, telling me if your woman gets fat over the years, you won't do nothing to change it? I mean, like I didn't get to that part yet. I'm just saying that it's a sign that she's comfortable. Right? Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. it's also like she's now letting too, like she's letting off too much, you know. So you know, you need to don't get too comfortable. Yeah, don't get know? too comfortable. Like you, yeah. let you, you, you let loose. Like you I know. still want you to be fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, so obviously, like I don't know, pay for a gym membership or anything like that, just to get a rolling. Pay for a gym membership. And you know, obviously, work with her so that you know she has some coming and stuff. Like yeah, that. yeah, coming. Yeah, don't, don't, don't let your woman go to you, the gym. You don't, alone. you don't, you don't want to pay for her gym membership and you let her like go get a train and stuff like that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Trainers be slick. Trainers be trying to be well. slick. Yeah. All right, all right. Back to green, green flag, red flags. Um, she likes attention. Green flag. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm not gonna lie. Um, I have struggled in the past. I'm not sure if I'm, I'm okay right now, but you know, because for a person, you know, for a man who like works, you know, studies and has work and stuff like that, yeah. it's very hard to be there every time. But you try most of the times. You know, I actually tell, I, I also actually tell this to, to a lot of guys. You know, there are two types of people: the people who have time for you, and, for, and the people who make time for you. You know, yeah. always it's always the latter for people who make time for you because that's. Like they actually thought about you, like you know what? Yeah, I'm. 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 I'm gonna step outside for a minute and you know check on her or see what she's doing. Call her, yeah. video call her, anything you know, just yeah. so, just so that you you can still be part of her day, you know. Yeah. So that's always more worth it than a person who's just obviously just there, you know. You you won't even know if whatever what if this person has something going on, would still would he still remember me? So, like that means they value you and stuff like yeah. that. So, but girl, just yeah, just just don't be. Just don't want too much attention. Yeah, like just, just when I check on you, appreciate. You. Don't don't expect me to check on you twenty in in each hour, bro. Like, <laughs> man, some girls be wanting too much attention. Like, calls you three times a day. It's okay to call me three times a day if I, if I'm 
I just sit down and edit the videos like me. I mean, it's okay. But if you're busy, you have a job, man, two times a bit much. I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying, man. We are not professionals. All right. She she wears designer clothes, but she she has no job. Green flag, red flag. <laughs> Okay. Unless <laughs> I provided those brands, it's a red flag. <laughs> I mean, how did you get those designers? Like how? Maybe your dad is a has a spoiler, but come yeah. On. I mean, if if maybe if they're wealthy, it's understandable. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's some, but she's you know, she from this, you know. You know, um, most of these answers just don't get us wrong. Most of these red flag answers, it's out of like. Just general, not specifically. We, yeah, don't, we yeah. don't. We don't mean everyone is like that. Now, yeah, like, no, no. Just, so um, we just kind of like, yeah, to, like from yeah. just you know, like a lot of a lot of. We just times, generalizing. Yeah, generalizing. Yeah, generalizing. Most of the times, like we we meet ladies wearing brands and they bro, and have like, nothing they, in for them. It's like, bro, what? You have an iPhone fourteen and you in college, and you we know that you, you're not that wealthy of a girl. Like it's kind of like. How did you get it though? Do you depend on your man that much, or is it just your man gave you some? I don't know. We were just saying, but yeah, I mean, it does uh, leave us thinking. Like, how did you get it? Did you have sponsors or something? Because sponsors be yo sponsors game or not weak, bro. Those guys are on point. They're serious with what they do, bro. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm just gonna let you in a bit, not all the way. Oh down yeah, there. yeah, yeah. Let you in on a bit. You know, um working with these people like owners of companies brands and people who like like have something for themselves like those adult people because that's yeah. like when you when you when you when you try to work to reach for the level you have to hang out with them mostly and uh, so they usually we, when we sit down and talk about this like on our spare spare yeah, time they, they be saying like you know what you know sometimes you go through your phone and maybe like maybe let me look for a wife material and you'll see that it's just 20s and 40s, 20s 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 19s 23s 24 just feel there and you don't speak much. It's just like get a bucket, something, hand sign. It's done, and I'm like, bro, like that. That's how they do it when you got money. You don't say much. You just <laughs> and they see you all dressed up. You smell good. You have that fancy car outside. They won't even hesitate. But yeah, like it's it's a lot. Yeah, I mean, yeah. All right. Um. So we go, we're trying out the new segment now. Let's talk about it. All right, so all right. The qu- the first question is non reciprocal energy from the girl you're dating. She doesn't give out the same vibe as you. She doesn't put in as much you put in in the relationship. You know, first of all, um, that's what usually most most guys who are loyal or who are trying to you know be loving get in the end. Um, they say like nice guys finish last. That's <laughs> I'm telling you, like, and this is from experience. It's always the toxic men who uh, are appreciated. You know, because, and you keep on wondering, why do women, like, tend to do a lot for a toxic guy than a nice guy and stuff like that? It's always... It's, uh, why do women... Nice guys I think always, because I've heard people saying, girls, I mean, that toxic men are exciting. They're a mystery. Yeah, and girls like to find out more. And your girls like to to know everything about a person. Yeah. Nice guys are usually open to who they are, what they do. They're not a mystery. So they say they are boring. Good guys are boring. But honestly, I feel and like... Actually, to, to cut there, this is actually what I tell a lot of people. Like, I'm actually really boring. <laughs> and, then... <laughs> All right. and... um. I don't know. Sometimes you just you just tell them that so, so that you and you will know that they'll, they'll just leave because you know they want something else. But, but something the the thing here, the thing, the the smart girls, the good girls, they stick to the good guys, because yeah. toxic is just child's play. Exactly. I mean, it, if you like, I don't think you will find a guy in his thirties or in forties toxic, unless you know you're a celebrity and stuff like that. Yeah. But if you were like. You you you're matured enough. Toxic is just a child's game. Being toxic is a child's game. It's like just what? be genuine. Just be genuine. Don't be too nice. Don't be too, uh, too toxic. Just be in the middle. 
I'm not saying, uh, uh, don't get us wrong. Don't be too nice, yeah? Don't be too nice because that gives narcissistic vibes and shit. Don't ever go to, for a person who's too nice, too like, like nah, he, she, he's, he's trying to be slick or something. Obviously. Yeah. All right. So this will be the last question of today. Is it? Yeah. Unrealistic financial expectations. On my woman. what? Unrealistic mm-hmm. financial expectations. Like, the woman thinks you're like a walking ATM. Like, no man likes, one, like, or likes to feel like a walking ATM, bro. What do you think about that? Oh, when a woman thinks that I'm a walking ATM. ATM, like a walking ATM, like unrealistic financial expectations. Well, I have this, I don't want to call it toxic. I have this unusual, like, way of thinking and habits that um, if she's mine, I don't really care. I don't really care, like, because, um, trust me, I, I know myself sometimes. I'm really bad at spending on when it comes to, you know, that. And so um, I just don't want, you know, it's at the, like you shouldn't spend more than you what you make, you know, at the end of the day. Yeah. Like don't spend like Way everything you, you, like all your sources, you run all your sources dry, like don't do that. But don't, at the same time, don't really be like, really like closed in, like clustered, like this is how much I'm going to be spending. Maybe it's like whatever, I'm just going to get her this, maybe. I'm going to go and surprise her on her birthday, Valentine's, and all those special occasions. Like, no, just do something nice for her. Because at some point, you need to make things exciting. As I told you, like, women are like babies, you know, like, you give them a new toy, something like that. (laughs) Yeah, I mean... So, like, but if they're not yours, you don't don't feed a horse that you don't ride, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, So, like, there's, there's, I mean, personally, to be really honest, there's a limit. I might not being a, not not the eight like like it's not going to stretch all the way to the ATM part no but you know like once in a while if maybe you can do something nice for them like I do nice things for my friends as well you know like regardless it doesn't matter like just do nice something nice yeah. because you know you look appreciative but if it's just way beyond that like every time like they come to you and stuff like that like that's that's really that, that's not good yeah I mean uh, don't be too greedy when we spoil you. Yeah, just don't don't think it's a lifestyle. And here's the thing. Here's the thing, yeah? You know, it's way more genuine if a guy is motivated to do something. Exactly. So, like... Don't ask for it. You know, here's an unpopular opinion. What do you think holds the power in this world? Who holds the power? Yeah, like, what do you think? Who or what do you think holds the power in this world? Well, I don't know. Like, just from the top of your mind, if you think of something, like something that actually would give you some sort of power or maybe like has power are you talking about spiritually or just Just, no no like in this world like money like i don't know wealth whatever i mean i think uh a powerful mind is what holds the power okay that's actually that's true but when the direction i was going to because like okay between women and money which one do you think is more powerful Bro, why are you getting these questions? Oh my god, I don't know. Money? Women? See, <laughs> Hold on. Baby. Let me let me think of it this way. If you got women, you won't get money. Mm-hmm. But if you got money, you get women. Mm-hmm. So money. See, that's the logical approach. Yeah. Now, there's another approach, actually. When you get money, who do you spend it to? Women. So, in the end, who has the power? Women? Exactly. Wait, what if I get the money and spend it on myself? Ah, nah, 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 just uh, like, yeah, unless you're gay, you definitely, <laughs> definitely want to spend it. Because, like, ladies have, I, like, sometimes I feel sorry for women because they don't know how powerful they are. Like, they really don't. Yes! Ladies women? have so much power, but they just don't know how much they do. Because, like... If you want, if you genuinely want, like, this guy to value you, to spend on you, to be, like, to be a simp, you know? I'm not saying that a simp can be a good thing and a bad thing, but yeah. if you want to turn, like, a guy, you want a guy to worship you, you just have to add value to him. That's it. That's all we need. Zero sense. It requires zero sense. Just make him happy. Make him, like, make him smile. Just make him, make him think of you. 
And trust me, he will spend on you without even you asking. He will just do but it. But if you don't do shit and expect and, and expect shit, like so, this is where the controversy starts in the in the to begin with. Yeah. Ladies want money from the get go, and guys want value from the get go. Like we all want something in the beginning, you know. Yeah. And they'd be like, and women would be like, you know, if you're not spending on me, why should I? Why should I care about you? And guys would be like, why should I spend on you if I'm not if getting care you? Yeah. yeah. So it becomes a whole it's like conundrum. A but song. smart women actually realize this trick that you know what? Let me just be nice to this guy. You you might you may just be nice, even if you don't have any hidden intention. Yeah. But you just find maybe like a guy like does that. Like even some of my friends, you know, they'd be like they would show up maybe if maybe you're just bored and be like, hey, you know. We want to hang out, maybe go out, something like, something just as simple as that. And then later on, you'll be like, you know what? You know, I'm a pass by Woolworth. I saw a really nice dress, you know, get it to her. And then she takes it and then you, just like simple like that. It's like, she didn't ask for it. She didn't do something for, for you to do something back, but you just feel moved. And men have this thing, have this psyche, in case you didn't notice. We can sense if something is pure. Or not. We can, we can, we can, we can <laughs> sense if this is fake, this is real. Some, it's more of a gut feeling. Um, apart, it's like we're not talking about rumors. We're not talking about talking to our to our fellow G's and they tell us like, yo, girl, this like this girl is fake, you know, this girl. Nah, yeah. like within, like I, if I talk to a person and I feel like okay, something isn't genuine, something isn't authentic. Like I'm gonna step back a bit. I'm not gonna leave on the spot, but I'm gonna step back a bit and like read you more. Maybe at some point your readings can be wrong. We're not saying we're hundred percent accurate, but most of the times it has saved us a lot. Yeah. I'm yeah. pretty sure you as well, you've met a lot of people and you're like, you know what, like, this isn't good. For yeah, me right actually, now. yeah, I just, have. I have. <laughs> just so back. All right, all right. Um finishing off with you know, the person you think of the first time you get a, a bunch of load cash. She's the woman you actually like. You know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. With that said, guys, that was the final and last question. And tune in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below. You now tell me what you think about it. Don't listen. We are not professionals. I keep insisting because I don't want us to be <laughs> mis misinterpreted. Yeah. So, yeah. Bye bye. Tune in. <laughs>